Propertius was um, one of the really canonical uh, Roman writers of, of this genre that we call love elegy. Uh, it's really him and his contemporary Tibullus, and then later on Ovid. Um, and love elegy is, is a, a rather sort of strangely fossilised kind of, of love poetry. Today we might think of love poetry as, as a, a sort of careful or, or um, passionate poetic outpouring of how you feel about somebody. You might imagine that it starts from, from a feeling. And with Propertius, it's a bit difficult to tell whether it starts from a feeling or whether it starts from poetic ambition. Um, it's a series of, of poems sort of about his experiences um, with his lover, Cynthia. Um, and he does put her sort of front and centre of the very first poem he writes. He begins by saying, Cynthia was the first to ensnare me. Um, but it's often not so much about how he feels about her as about the kind of life they have together or not together, all the problems that, that get in the way. Um, and very similar sort of issues keep coming up both in his poetry and the work of other love elegists so that we can talk about um, what makes this a very typical genre with its own sort of typical motifs. Um, also, it's, it's elegy. It's all written in a particular um, Latin uh, verse form, the elegiac couplet, uh, and the, the poems are, are sort of longish, maybe between about 12 and about 50 lines. So there's some sort of formal constraints on what it's like as well. I think Amor love for Propertius is a feeling and also certain things that you do. But as a feeling, it perhaps isn't much like um, some of the things we might celebrate about love today. Most, a lot of things written, written about, about love are, are sort of discuss its, its happiness or its triumph. Um, and for Propertius and for other Roman writers and, and indeed um, Greek writers, um, love is unpleasant a lot of the time. Um, it's slavery, you are under the power of your mistress, and that's extremely countercultural to sort of admit as a, as a man of the elite class that, that a woman orders you about and that you won't go off and serve in the army because you need to be at Rome with her, is, for instance, is, is um, uh, quite, quite something sort of demeaning to admit. Um, love is, is um, also a sort of way of life, a sort of alternative way of life. You, 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 uh, you, you claim, if you're an elegiac poet like Propertius, that, that you, as I say, you, you, you really have to be putting the effort in to sort of spending time with your mistress and, and not, for instance, uh, doing the very normative thing of going off and fighting. So instead, and this, this motif is explored in lots of poems, you, you might have the, the militia amoris or military service of love, um, which can involve, um, in, in the example on, on the syllabus, actually sort of fighting your lover, which both of them seem to have enjoyed quite a lot, but can involve anything else that, that, that uh, might involve um, sort of working hard to keep the affair going, and therefore you don't have time for, for either military service or other sorts of appropriate uh, life. So lo love isn't a feeling, it's a, it's a thing you do.